Hey there. So, what does hard wire have to do with a stove? A lot. If you're from a certain era, you'll know where I'm going to go with it. But let's go for it for those who don't know. Let's go back. You guys watched my pre pre previous reel and my previous video, which was basically that I was living with a secret shame. And that was basically there were areas of my apartment I was not able to clean, but I knew that they needed to be cleaned. And finally, I hired somebody to clean it. And the main reason was because I needed a new stove. I knew that I needed it, but I had been putting off my maintenance department in my building because I didn't want them to see how messy things were behind that stove. So let's catch up. I called the office and they said, yes, we'll send the maintenance person there right away. Well, five days later, the maintenance man comes in and he looks at my stove and he looks at me, he looks at the stove and I could see his wheels going. How old is this lady and why am I walking into a mu museum for the 1970s? Anyhow, very nice young man. <clears throat> Back to the story. So he took a couple of pictures of the stove. I showed him what wasn't working, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, we'll get right back to you. And of course, in maintenance speak, that's, oh, I think it was about two days, three days later. So this is a week now. Uh, he knocks on my door and he said that, yes, it's been approved. Uh, he's just going to take my old stove away. The new stove is sitting in the hallway. Yay, hallelujah. So he pulls out my stove and I am thinking, there's no shame here. It's clean underneath there. Yeah, the linoleum has lifted, but it's clean back there. Hallelujah, praise Jesus, let's move on. Well, not so quickly. Let's just take a deep breath because you see, this building was built in 1972. This stove came with the building in 1972. Back in 1972, stoves were hardwired right into the wall. There was no external p plug. And so he looked at it. He looked at me. I could see his brain going, how long has she lived here? Very nice young man. He pushed the stove back into place. He said, I'll be right back. I figured that maintenance speak for three or four days. But no, he was back in about two hours. And he replaced the hard wire with a proper plug, took my old stove, bye-bye, don't have to see it ever again, except that's not the truth. It's in our storage room that leads out to our garbage bin. So every time I take out the garbage, I walk past it without a lot of warm fuzzies. I really don't miss it. Now, now the new stove, is different than the old one. It's digitalized. It's really easy to set the temperature. It's very standard. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. Still needs to be manually cleaned, you know, that kind of stuff. But I have a new stove now. I have a stove that is accurate. I have a stove that I am not ashamed of because of uh, the way that they were built in the 1970s, there was a glass panel uh, where you would turn the knobs on and off, and it was you would have to dismantle the whole stove to clean behind there. And uh, so, you know, so that's no longer there. But it got me thinking, and a lot of people say they love to hear my stories, but I'm going to give you a little secret. I really hope you're listening for more than the story. You're reading into the metaphors and the illustrations that I speak because God speaks to me that way and he asked me to share with you in the same way. Jesus used parables all the time, but with me, God speaks to me that way. And when I'm speaking to others, uh, when I feel God has given me a word for them, so many times it comes in an illustration 
or an, an, an analogy of some sort. So let she or he with ears listen. Okay, so are you hardwired into an obsolete form of technology that is no longer of use for you and no longer serves a purpose and no longer allows you to bless and serve others. I'm not talking about a stove here. <laughs> I'm talking about are there patterns, um, belief systems, habits that you have that are so ingrained in you that they're attached to that secret chain we talked about the last time that I did this that have caused you to stall and be stuck and not live your life to the fullest and not to be able to bless and serve others. Here's going back to the analogy. I can set the temperature right down to the precise degree. So if I'm cooking a cake, let's say, not going to happen. But if I did bake a cake and uh, it said, cook at, uh, bake at 325 or 350. Now I can set it exactly. So that cake is going to turn out the way that the original creator of the recipe intended it to turn out to be. So this is my thing for you. Are you living in a rundown ex existence of your own making because you would rather be comfortable with things falling apart around you spiritually, emotionally, etc. Do you think you are so set in your ways that it would be impossible for you to break free from the hard wire? Jesus is a master plug changer. He can change that plug in the wall socket so you can be set free from it if you're willing to let him into your messes. If you are willing to invite people into your messes. But I know I'm talking to people here who they've got, you've got set patterns going on in your life for decades maybe. And those patterns are making your world smaller and smaller and smaller and making your effectiveness in the world around you smaller and smaller and smaller. Perhaps it's time to allow Jesus to snip the cord and to rewire you into who and what he made you to be in 2023.